Today I'm going to show you how to fix a gaping dress. Now as you can see this dress, very pretty dress, but it's gaping and the only thing that you're going to show in this dress is the colour of your undergarments. So um, unlike most people who would probably just put a stitch there, I advise against doing that because all you'll end up with is a load of gaping fabric here and then that will be too tight and the rest of it won't fall properly. So I'll show you, see what happens then? It, show, it, it falls there. So this side is obviously tighter than this side so I'm going to show you what to do to improve it. Okay, what I've done now is I've turned the dress inside out and I've also taped it flat onto my cupboard. Don't need any special equipment for this, just um, a little bit of patience and a bit of sellotape and a needle and thread. And what you can see is that the gape is really big on this side. So it's this side that we're going to actually work on more, even more than this side. This side needs to come up a little bit, this side needs to come up a lot. So if I come around here, what I'm going to show you is that we need to take this up on this side of the dress a fair bit. Okay, so we're looking to take up at least that much on this side. And on this side, possibly a fair bit less and just about that much. Okay, now you can see almost immediately that there's a huge improvement in the way that that dress falls by taking that up. That needs to be ironed afterwards. So even if you put a stitch there now, it's going to fall properly rather than in a very lopsided way. Okay, so I remember I taped there, I taped there and I've got my, my dress there. So we, need, we now need to start to take in the top of that. So we're going to do our sewing and our taking in along the shoulder line, remembering that this side is going to be taken in a fair bit more than this side. Um, the wall. And uh, I want to show you the two shoulders now. You can see that this shoulder, right, has got far more taken up than this one. And that's what you need to look for. Now, the dress has been taken off the wall and let's get in a little bit closer and you'll be able to see that this side is far shorter in the take up than this side. It's because this side was the one with the most gaping. So I'm going to then show you how to adjust it so that, you know, you can't just sew there. It won't be right at all. You need to think about where you're going to sew next. Now, before I do any sewing at all, I wanted to show you that I turned the dress back the right way round and I am checking that everything crosses in the right place. So here we are, if I can show you, because this is quite patterned, it's not quite that easy to see. Now, there, it's crossing quite nicely now. There's nothing in this dress. The only things I've done is put a couple of pins on the inside. I haven't sewn it yet, but that will come next. Make sure that it's crossing where the zip is. You don't want it crossing over there or over there. Okay, otherwise your bust line is going to be odd. It should be crossing there. And I pinned, I taped it back there as well to, to check that everything was falling far better. One thing that you really need to be careful of when you do this kind of alteration is that you don't end up taking too much off this armhole side because you will make the armhole a lot smaller. So you need to get your um, neck side the length that you want to, but the armhole side, I think you might just be able to see here, is a lot shorter than this side. And do be careful to do that so that you don't end up making your armholes far too tight, which is quite easily done.
So I suggest that what you do is you, you pin it, you put a couple of running stitches in it and you try it on before you go any further. Right, now this is the right side of the garment, not the wrong side of the garment, because what we're going to do is make sure that these match up. And if they don't, it's going to look pretty dreadful. Okay, so let's start. I'm not going to do any cutting on this at all until I am completely happy that everything's all right, and then I still might not cut. So I've taken some thread, and I've matched the thread up as closely as I possibly can to the main colour of this, so that it won't be seen. So what I'm going to do is I am actually going to sew on the right side and I'm going to do tiny, tiny little stitches which hopefully you won't be able to see because you don't want to see stitches on here and remember that these two pieces might not be the same. Now this fabric is quite stretchy so you can do this quite easily. You stretch as you sew. So we're going to do, as I said, tiny, tiny little stitches. And I'm quite lucky because I'm short-sighted. If you're not, I suggest you get yourself some sort of little magnifying glass for sewing. That'd be ever so helpful. And then you keep on going like this. With these tiny stitches. What noise is the train going past? I'm sure if you've seen my videos before, you've heard the train going past. <clears throat> I love it. I just think about all those people going to somewhere nice. As small as you possibly can. There we are, we're doing quite well. Okay, so that this is going to sit quite nicely there. And then if you don't want to cut, I'll show you what to do when we get to the very end. Another train. They tend to pass. Okay, when you get to the end of your sewing, we've lined it up there, we've lined it up there. Now, this is the back. You can see the zip there. Don't be tempted to fold that forward. It won't sit as well on your shoulder. If you're not going to cut, right? I suggest that what you do is you flick it towards the back and then you can put a couple of stitches along there to hold it back. But, there we are, you won't see it on the back because it'll be just inside there and it'll sit quite nicely. And I'll try it on, check that everything is right and you will find then that your dress will no longer gape. If you're still unhappy with any gaping, you can then at this point find your centre, like I told you before, using your zip as a point. There, like that. And you can put a couple of stitches there if you like. But I think you'll find that there will be a huge improvement in the way that this dress or your dress falls once you've taken the shoulders up the way I've shown you. Okay so have fun and let me know how it, uh, it works. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it does my channel no end of good. Thanks very much. Bye!